Hi, welcome to IEC West 2019. This is Paul Ragusa. I'm the editor of Security Systems News. I'm very excited to have Tim Perpura and George Lawson with Morris Watchmans. Hey guys, how are you? Good, Paul. How are you? So let's uh, start off on the product side because I know there's a lot of exciting things going on with the company. What are you highlighting here at ISC West? And then we could move on from there. What's what's the big the big highlight for you guys this year? Well, the highlight is always the key watcher. That's our bread and butter. Now, we've been designing key control systems for 24 years now, and we are the brand name worldwide. But as far as new products, we're really excited to have two items. Our asset watcher, which is an RFID smart locker, and also our latest version, Key Watcher, which is called the Key Watcher Fleet, and that's designed specifically for fleet management. And uh, again, we just came out with that literally months ago, and we're pretty excited about the, the opportunity that we see for that uh, particular market. Go ahead. Yeah, Fleet, yeah. Fleet, I'll just talk about that for a second. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, a, it, it's a great system built from the ground up, you know, talking with the fleet managers, you know, out on the field and what they need. This is, uh, this is really going to take the market, uh, you know, by storm. Uh, I've seen, you know, we launched it uh, domestically in November. We launched it internationally in uh, January at the Intersect Show. And, and so far it's been received incredibly well. So it's, it's really the optimization of how the fleet is being utilized. All right, so you may have 20 vehicles, but looking at how it's optimized and how they're being used, you may, not, may only need 15. So there's a, there's an immediate ROI. Oh wow! But yeah. nonetheless, it's a it's a great system built on the platform of the uh, Morse Watchman Key Watcher. Yeah, I think that's really the big deal, is that the reliability and dependability of the Key Watcher, and we just incorporated all these other functionality or all these other functions and features, <coughs> just as Tim was mentioning, the telematics, being able to release, for example, where you know California is a big. Uh, they're big on electric cars and electric vehicles that have them all these major municipalities. So in order to release a vehicle based on the highest charge or the lengthiest charge is a big deal. And to be able to do those things just takes Key Watcher to another level for us. Yeah, and as, as you mentioned, Tim, everyone's looking for a return on investment. What can you give me beyond just <laughs> the product itself, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's, um, it's a great tool. It's a great tool for the fleet managers out there. And you also mentioned how there's some growth on the international side. I know there's, it's not just a, a North American business. Can you talk a little bit about the growth of the company? Yeah, I mean, internationally, we are, uh, we're the number one provider of electronic key control oh, wow. globally. Cool. Okay? We hold that. We're going to maintain that. Yeah. Uh, we have um, probably about 70 dealers globally that uh, are, are selling Morse Watchman products. Our growth is, I mean, it's, it's amazing how well it's received globally. But I'm looking at uh, Latin America, Southeast Asia, as well as the Eastern Bloc countries to really develop a little more. There's yeah. a lot happening in Southeast Asia, and uh, we want to take advantage of that. So, and then domestically, I mean, you, you were talking about um, you know, how people are buying. So talk about that for a second, yeah. yeah. And one other thing, just kind of back up with what Tim is selling about yeah. international growth. I think one, it sounds like a little thing, but to be able to access the system in your native language, and we have, what, 17 different languages? Yeah on the key watcher right now. Actually, it might be more than that. I know on my personal demo unit, I've got right. you know, 17 different languages. Not that I can <coughs> speak Tagalog, but you know, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. No, but it's awesome, yeah. But yeah, as far as growth domestically, I mean, we are, again, we make systems, we design them, we manufacture them, we write the software, we sell them and we service them. And we're based in Oxford, Connecticut, sleepy little town in the woods. But we are everywhere here in this country, all different industries, like this is, I don't like, I'm going to say my adopted hometown. I'm here a couple times every year. Almost every single casino, not only on the Strip, but off the Strip, uses this. So right here, we're in the Sands Expo Center. They've got five key washers they use here for their facility keys, vehicle keys, you name it. So what the growth that I've seen over the last several years hasn't necessarily been new customers while we're continuously getting them, but it's more systems within an, an entity. So for example, Venetian, Palazzo, they use key watchers initially for their gaming keys. Now, once other departments catch wind of this, security sees that they're using these for their slot department, they're going to purchase a system. Housekeeping, which is a huge market, you know, you know, as far as hotels as well, combine that, but housekeeping is a cornerstone market for our product. Uh, they use this in facilities and engineering, you know, for the transportation. Some of the casinos out here use this just for their pools. So there's, you know, what we found is once you get in somewhere, they see other departments, see how the system operates and how it would benefit them. It just continually grows and expands. So we, we you know, I don't see an end to that. Yeah. Um, 
so we are 100% made in the U.S. Oh, that's uh, you key. touched on that. Yeah, it's big. Uh, our facility in Oxford, Connecticut, again, um, as George said, we write the software, we build our own boards, yeah. uh, we source all of our materials locally in Connecticut, even our steel. Oh, wow. It is all built in Oxford, Connecticut. Yeah, we've got three fabricators right there. And yeah, yeah. You know, and, so hour drive. and the beauty of it is that if there is an issue, if there's a technical issue, we're there. We know it because yeah. we built it, we wrote it. Right. So it's, uh, it's, it's so different from everybody else. Yeah, and then that also <clears throat> ensures better security within within the devices, within the software. Yeah, yes, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. You have absolute control over it, you know. And I would think, as far as international goes as well. Like again, I'm this is your territory, but I would think the fact that we have people on the ground. I consider us a local company. I don't care where in the U.S. you yeah, are. Yeah. We're, we're I feel we're local. I think by you know establishing that vast network of international dealers, you know, you're pretty much in that same position where okay, I got someone who speaks my language who can help me with the key watcher, as opposed to having call, you know, a foreign country, you know, at three o'clock in the morning yeah, to reach us. Out. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So we're we're in just about every casino here in Vegas. Yeah. We're just about in every casino in Macau. Wow. We're in in many many prisons here in the U.S. and in Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're yeah. in in hotels globally. Uh, it's an incredible market and and. Everybody can use KeyWatcher. Yeah. So that's exactly even in prisons, right. <laughs> it's not only for keys, but even even the utensils that they use in the kitchens, oh, wow. they they hang them in the KeyWatchers to keep <laughs> them safe from prisoners. Yeah, because uh, it's amazing. Yeah, they so, can yeah. turn anything into something. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But uh, so I just I do want to ask you your take on the show. It's, it's it's you know the show just started, but you get a general mm -hmm. feel. How's the booth been? You getting a lot of traffic? You, you happy with the turnout this year? Yeah, I'm very happy with the yep. turnout. I mean, we've been going nonstop. What, what do we have? Uh, Twelve of us over there. Yeah, we have a lot and of it people. It seems like I mean, yeah, we've had. So basically, in our booth, we're in booth one 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 zero nine. Yeah. We'll plug for the booth there. Go and visit. Uh, yeah, right. And we've got sixteen key watcher systems, and we've had on, on all four corners. We've had people going all four corners wow. literally since yep. it, it opened this morning awesome. at ten. So yeah. that's great. Hopefully, we'll get a break for lunch soon. Lunch? <laughs> What's lunch? You don't what get to eat lunch, guys. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, it's been a great show, as it always is. Yeah. 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 Well, thank so. you guys for spending some time with me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate Thanks, it. Paul. Take care. All right.